So, here's the thing. The coolant pump on my brand new lathe, well, half a year old now. It, I hooked it up, it worked perfectly for a couple of, I don't know, about five or six hours on the, on the old hour meter, and then it started getting really hot and it wouldn't turn on. I could spin it and make it start. So yeah, something with the windings in that one as well. So instead of farting around with it, I just bought a new pump, 127 bucks. And I got down to this. The other pump came with this piece of blued steel pipe. It was already rusting. So we're switching it to this. This is the fun part. I cut that off of this fitting right here. Well, actually, those came off of this this guy but I, I there was a fitting on the other one i cut off too and then i just machined a little recess set it in there Let's see if it'll stand up now probably ain't gonna want to stand up with the angle on it with the elbow but that's just plain old you know lead free solder for plumbing a little bit of soldering flux and now I got a fitting more importantly I can screw this in without grabbing it with a pair of pliers this is annoying trust me I got the nut and there's a the little plastic seal call it whatever you want to call it goes on there it's the advantage of getting a uh, what do you call it a motor from somebody that understands you know it's got an actual waterproof connection so I can go up here and Hold some of this. Come on now. Don't be that way. A little bit more. I'm going to kind of get this guy started. It's good. used to being on there. Yeah, it's a fat bunch of wires. Got to get that seal down inside. There's like fingers of plastic. It's got a good grip. See now it's on there. So I gotta hook it up. So what are with? This is seven. Alright. Where is the seven? This is seven. Looks like it. Right here you see a copper jumper, that's what makes it 220. There's actually two jumpers right here, and one will go on either side and it make it 110. 
Anyhow. Got to start with the ground. Uh-oh. Ground on the floor. Right? Basically half green, half yellow, that's the ground. So all the first one you hook up on something like this is the ground wire. And this particular one had a screw with a star washer on it. Give it a really good connection. These other two go to the other two wires. Take your pick, right? It's 220, so. I just wrap my hand in the way half the time. But there's a famous saying a guy I knew I worked with when I was just out of high school named Brent. Brent used to say, in the context of me riding in a car with him and wanting to look at the mirrors, he would say, it's important for you to see the mirrors. It's more important for me to see the mirrors. <laughs> yeah. So I'm putting wiring in, it's important for me to see it more than anything else, right? But still, get that capacitor set in place. Oh, wait. One more part. This guy. The thing telling you to don't fuck with it because it's got it bites. But now it's cockade. My little condenser jumped out of this hole. Ay, ay, yes. Typical. It's got an up and a down, too. You gotta have it right, I take it. one screw started so I don't have to hold it all the time. that tight, just getting snug. It's only a cover. You want it to keep water and moisture and other things out. Fuel or whatever. Oil. So you don't want to crack it. Now, I'm going to loosen this guy a little bit. Can't put it in any farther, so tighten her down. Okay. 
Well, there goes that one. I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. No sparks. It's a live circuit. Let's turn the thing on. No sparks. Damn, it's so quiet I can't hear it, but it runs. Let's see. Oh yeah. I'm gonna give you a little hand job. Yeah, it'll blow some out. I just been let it run, see how it does. Quite happy with it. I think that's the last motor on this lathe I need to worry about being Chinese made and cheap. Of course, you gotta watch out. That's how far the water sprayed that first time when I just spurted it. Yep. Overall, now I need to wash the thing, clean it up.